It's the NFL on EA Sports. Getting set now for today's matchup as we join you from Soldier Field. Friends, Jim Nance, along with Phil Simms. Parker, good to be with you today. Yeah, good to be with you too, Jim Nance. And I'll tell you, we got two teams that can flat get it done on the field. These are two of the most physical football teams in the NFL. They just try to out-hit their opponents. And I say it all the time. You out-hit the opponent, you usually win. So we're going to sit back and watch this. Kickoff is about to commence. Let's send it down to the field. And they crash into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. Coming onto the field at quarterback for the Bills is E.J. Manuel, the quarterback who was taken in the first round a season ago out of Florida State. His rookie year was compromised by a knee injury, but he showed a number of times some big playability. Well, when you look at E.J. Manuel, first round pick of the Buffalo Bills, when he played last year, when he wasn't hurt, he played very well. But the big thing in the NFL now, especially for quarterbacks, you got to stay on the field. Spiller takes his spot in the backfield. First and 10, C.J. Spiller. And that gains one. Tight end Scott Chandler is a dangerous threat in the red zone. Well, he is in the red zone because he is so big. When you're that size, all you have to do is give him a chance. He's able to jump over defenders and get catches. Coming up, second down. The Bills bring in an extra tight end for this play. Quick drop back. As Watkins. And when it comes to the defense, the buck stops here. Jared Allen, always a force. Yeah, it sure does. The big old cowboy can get it done. He knows how to pressure the quarterback and get him to the ground. They complete the pass, but still not enough for the first. Third down coming up. Manuels lined up. Two tight end set. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Tackle's made, and that'll move the chains. It's always a chess match early in the game to see what your opponent is going to do. Good run that time by the offense. They pick up good yards. Maybe the defense will have to start crowding the line of scrimmage more. First down here after the run. Pump fake, not yet. The Bills now move the chains. Well, he had all day long to throw the football that time. That's why he had success throwing the football down the field. I'll tell you what, this defense they need to start blitzing this quarterback. First down here after the completion. Nickel formation for the defense here. First down at the 50. And Tillman can't quite pick it off. The defense did everything right in that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback size. But they dropped the pass.
It's now second down. The Bills come out. Two tight ends on the field. C.J. Spiller. He stacked up at that point. After that run, it's still third and nine to go. Just a quick drop back. Looks to his left. Watkins has got it. And a first. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers. Makes the catch and gets a first down. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. C.J. Spiller is in the backfield. Pump fake. Makes the reception. Hard to play man-to-man -to -man against such a quality wide receiver. He's fast, he's big. You kind of mix up the coverage. You play straight man-to-man, -man, you're going to give up a lot of completions. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. That long gain sets them up here on this play. They'll go Brown. That's a touchdown. Able to take it across from just a couple of yards out. The fullback in most offenses in the NFL very seldom gets to carry the football. But down near the goal line, they serve a good purpose. Quick getting played by a big, powerful guy gets it done. The Bills with an extra point try on the way. Driving extra point is good. The Bears are usually one of the best of the league in stopping opponents on their opening drive. Not the case this time. The score's 7-0. to zero. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. Coming on to the field for the Bears at quarterback is Jay Cutler. Coming off a season in which he set the Bears' single-season passing record, and he was rewarded in the offseason with a new contract. Jay Cutler teamed up with Mark Trestman. This has got to be a marriage made in heaven. Jay Cutler needs to show everybody he can be a consistent quarterback and lead his team once again to the playoffs. First down on the way. Forte's lined up as the single back. Forte looking for space. He's got the first down yardage. Matt Forte is just one tremendous runner in the NFL. That time he picks up big yards. He just keeps getting the job done and goes unnoticed. I don't know why, but he does. They're able to move the chains after that last run. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. Jesus. 
First down and 10. Matt Forte gets it here. In the end, it picks up only a yard. A multi-dimensional threat out of the backfield is Matt Forte. Every team is looking for a running back that they can keep on the field all three downs. A guy that can run, protect the quarterback, and catch the passes on third down. Well, that's Matt Forte. Today's starting lineups have been brought to you by Papa John's Pizza, the official pizza sponsor of the NFL. Second down and eight, Matt Forte running right through the trenches. On that Buffalo defense, a player to watch, Mario Williams. Boy, do they need help on the defensive side. They need Mario Williams to be a pass rusher that takes two guys to block, so it maybe it frees somebody else up. But Mario Williams paid like a superstar. Now he's got to play like one. And as the first quarter comes to a close, we'll take a short break before the beginning of the second here in Chicago, Illinois. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's been all about the defenses today as we welcome you back to the action. Now looking at third down. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Tackles made, and the first down is picked up. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving, give yourself three more opportunities. First down here after the completion. Offense lines up here. The Bears will take the snap from the 45 and pick up about four. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. And Morgan's a receiver in the slot. Cutler's back in shotgun formation. Reaches out and grabs it. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards, gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Marshall's in the slot. Yeah. 
Cutler dropping back to pass once again. And Morgan's got the catch and the first. When you play a cover three defense, you protect against the deep pass. But the problem is all the underneath stuff is wide open, and the quarterback is taking advantage of that. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Cutler's got it in the gun. Looking to the right side and throwing. A takeaway. Steps out of bounds. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. They face first down. Manuel's got the football after the play fake. Almost intercepted that time. Just not a good decision by the quarterback. I mean, maybe on the sidelines they keep calling the wrong plays, but he's attacking the strength of this cover two defense. Don't do that. Throw where they're not. That's deep down the middle. Second down following that incompletion. Spiller takes his spot in the backfield. Throw to the left. Williams got it. First down. What's the old expression? Just move the chains. That's what they did with that throw and catch that time, Jim. It also gives them a chance for three more downs. First down here after the completion. And he's forced to the ground. My gosh, you talking about getting overpowered. I guess they were expecting a speed move. The right guard and right tackle are both pulled. They get run over and they give up a sack. Half time, two minutes away. After that sack, dropped them back nine yards. It sets up second down and 19. The defense comes out in the nickel. Looking long, and Tillman can't quite pick it off. Manage the football game. That's what you have to do as a quarterback. You're winning a close game, and it's third and long. Well, manage it. Know what to do. Don't force the play here. If it's not there, throw it away and just punt the football. It's third down coming up. The Bears come out in the nickel. Throwing now to his left. Watkins got the catch and the first. 
When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they move it in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. Offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Manuel's able to fake into the line and still has it. Makes the reception. And Jennings there to make the tackle. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. They hurry to the line of scrimmage. The Bills will take the snap from the 35. Chandler's got it, and a first. The Bills are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Offense ready to play after calling a timeout. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Spillers lined up in a single back formation. Manuel's got it on the play action. Makes the catch in the open field. First down here after the completion. Wasting no time now for this next play. Play fake. Shakes off the tackle. Makes the catch. Touchdown. You know, if you're a defensive player and you're covering a receiver down here on first and goal, you don't have to cover that much area. That's a terrible job by the defense giving up that touchdown pass. Bills line up now for the point after. Count it. Watkins is going to watch now as his defense gets ready to come into the game. He just put up over 50 yards receiving, helping his team go down the field for the score. They're setting up the return. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. It's first down as they head to the line. Forte's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Dropping back three. It's Marshall, and they are all over Marshall. The Bears are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. When you throw a slant route, it's really important for the quarterback to make sure he keeps it right in front of the receiver and to his body. Why? So he can make the catch and protect himself. They did it perfectly that time. And that completion almost got him a first down. And Morgan's going to get set in the slot for this snap. The Bears from the 32. It's Marshall. Games 16. The Bears will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. 
You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down, now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you got that defense guessing. Following that timeout, offense back out on the field. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Nickel formation here for the defense. Cutler's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Did not get both feet down. That leads us to second down. Matt Forte lined up in the backfield. Jay Cutler from the shotgun. They're going to get him here for a sack. The Bears with no timeouts left. Jim, you can't tell the difference between the quarterback and the center. They're both retreating about as fast as you can go. That time the center gets run over, and it leads to a sack of the QB. It's third and 15 here after the sack. Cutler steps back into the gun. The ball is out. The flag is down. Boy, his head got yanked back the other way. An obvious face mask penalty, and that's a big one. It's about safety of the players, too. That's why when you grab, hit the helmet in certain situations, it's going to be a 15-yard penalty. Don't grab the face mask. First and 10. Manuel still has it, getting away from the pressure for about four. The Bills call a timeout and are left now with only one. Offense ready for action coming out of their timeout. And now they'll try over again on second down. One more snap in halftime. Three step drop. Watkins got it on a pass that had some heat. The Bills will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. That timeout might be very useful for the offense. They're now ready to go. A short field goal try on the way. The kick is through for three. That does it for the first half. Bears trailing this one.
we're back here now in this one where the Bills are leading by 17. Danielle's got an update from the sidelines. Let's go to her now, Danny. I had a moment to speak with Jay Cutler at halftime. Right now, his guys are trailing, but he told me he wasn't concerned at this point. He said, we haven't played our best football, but that's okay because we can still finish strong and get this win. That's it from down here, guys. We'll just have to see how things play out. Back up to you. Thanks, Danielle. And now we'll go to the field. Dan Carpenter readying his team for the kickoff. And a touchback. The Bears now ready to take over as their offense heads onto the field. And Morgan's lined up in the slot. And here we go, the first snap of the second half. He's got the grab, and he's got the first. On his way. And in for the touchdown. When you're behind in the football game, drive down and score, they did that. And the next time when they get back out there, they got to do it again. Show some patience and drive it down the field. for the point after. Makes the PAT. The Bills returners are back deep. They still have that big lead. Scores 17 to seven. Stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. The Bills offense now marches onto the field. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. First and ten. They'll call on the services of C.J. Spiller. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. Spiller's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. C.J. Spiller is in the backfield. Quick drop back. Going for the deep ball. That ball has been picked off. In on the stop. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled. Being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. First down here. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Forte tackled down. You 
pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Offense lines up here. Out of the eye, it's Forte, and he's brought to the ground. You got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They were all over the run that time, and they only give up a short game. This will be second down. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Jay Cutler from the shotgun. Has the reception all alone. Good job by the offense. They're in the red zone. They're down by more than seven. But the defense, can you stop them and just give up the field goal try? First down here after the completion. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Handoff made. Touchdown. This game is tight. How about that? The fullback scores the touchdown. He does all the blocking, gets beat up all the time, but nothing like getting the football where you can score to get it done. The Bears now will tack on the extra point. Inside of the uprights. The Bills will get their hands on the football again, but their lead is not the same. Things are getting tight here. The scores 17 to 14. And he's met head on right there at the 20. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. Just a quick drop back, out to the left. Watkins has got the catch and the first. That's what you want to do, just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving, keep the defense guessing, make them react instead of attack. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. To Williams, they'll mark him at the 46. A lot of people talk about time of possession. Sometimes it's overblown, but in a situation like this, where you're winning a close game in the second half, you want to control the tempo, control the clock, keep getting those first downs. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. He's wide open for the grab. And the tackle is made at the 35-yard line. The offense picks up another first down and extends this drive. They are, Jim. They're marching down the field. And I give all the credit to the offensive line. They are dominating 
the defense right now. First down here after the completion. Spiller takes his spot in the backfield. Airing it out. And it falls incomplete. And quarterbacks love to throw the football high and far down the field. That time the quarterback doesn't do that. And he underthrows the receiver. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. He'll fire it out to the left. Oh, and almost picked off that time. I know we've all heard this phrase before. That's why they're playing defense, because they can't catch. Hey, the coaches don't care about that. When you get an opportunity, they want you to make the catch. Play number six coming up on this drive. The Bills will take the snap from the 35. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. This will be a 50-yard field goal attempt. the field goal attempt is good it's good well, I'm sure the defense is going my gosh what do we got to do to stop these guys you know once they even get near midfield they know that the other team is in field goal range because that kick up what a play the Bears are ready to return the kick No return, the ball's coming out to the 20. The Bears bring their offense back onto the field for their next drive. And Morgan's lined up now as a slot receiver. First down at the 20, throws to the right. It's Marshall. That tackle was made at the 27-yard line. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up. And when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. to the pass play, gain seven. Second and three on the way. The third quarter comes to a close and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Bears are still in possession as we get this final quarter underway. Second down here. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. 
Final quarter underway now with this snap as his target. He's tackled right at the 48. The Bears look pretty confident out there on the field, don't they? And they're, they're very calm, and they should be. That first down, they're right in this game. Down a couple points here in the second half. Don't look down the field for that big play. Just keep marching. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. The defense gets a sack. Well, the right side, Jim, the right tackle and the right guard. They look confused. They don't know what to do, so they just get run over, and the quarterback falls down. After being sacked on first down, it's second and 16. Cutler is going to take it from the gun, looking to the right side and throwing. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting, that is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. Nice job by the quarterback, finding the open guy short. They get the completion. They still do not get the first down, though. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. Nickel formation for the defense here. Cutler steps back into the gun. Brings it in. That's a pickup of 14. Big first down by the offense that time. Here in the second half, they're losing a close game. And you get that first down, it just gives you confidence. It opens up the playbook, and it just gives you a better chance of going down the field and getting the score. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Met by Spikes that time. I know you won't believe this, but sometimes completing a short pass like that does give a quarterback confidence, so it does serve a purpose. Second down coming up. Split backfield here. They're setting up screen. Can't find space, and this will be a loss of one on the play. Well, we see it more and more. Football's thrown behind the line of scrimmage. They do it that time. Nice catch, but a loss of yards on the play. After that last reception, they are still eight yards away from a first. Third and eight coming up. Jay Cutler from the shotgun. The flag is out as the play continues. That's been the story of this game. Another third down conversion to move the chains. Penalty is, of course, going to be accepted by the defense. It'll be a third and 18 now after the penalty. 
Time is running out here in the fourth, and the defense is trying to preserve this win. Cutler standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. It's Bennett. There's the offense picking up another first down on third down. Well, I think we all know the situation here. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing, but you pick up a first down. Oh, my gosh. That opens up many more possibilities what you can do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. we reach the two-minute warning. First down here after the completion. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Here's the handoff. Runs to daylight for the touchdown. Man, the defense has to be down at something like this. They allow the offense to score that touchdown in the red zone. My gosh, you only have such a small part of the field to defend, and they just didn't get the job done that time. The Bills have squandered the lead here near the end. And now they must make something happen. The scores 21 to 20. They'll take it at the 20. First down coming up. Just about two minutes to go, and the defense knows it needs to make one last stop to end it. He's tackled right at the 24. That's second down coming up. Now the offense in the hurry up. C.J. Spiller. And they are in on Spiller. An extra tight end on the field for this one. As Watkins. This offense can't be stopped on third down, no matter the distance. The Bills did a good job that time picking up the first down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind just by a few points in the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs, and, you know, you get enough of them. What does it do? Pretty simple. It leads to a score. have saved all three of their timeouts for here in the fourth quarter. C.J. Spiller taking it up the middle. That was a good idea that time by the offensive coordinator trying to go with the run game here in the fourth quarter when they're only down one score. Defense was ready and stops it for a short game. The Bills signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. The Bills come to the line of scrimmage with two timeouts to play with. It's a two tight end formation. Dropping back three has Watkins. Watkins taken down. Big first down by the offense that time here in the second half. They're losing a close game. And you get that first down, it just gives you confidence. It opens up the playbook, and it just gives you a better chance of going down the field and getting the score. Complete. What a hit that time. And 
That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. C.J. Spiller is in the backfield. Second down and 10. Spiller's handed the football. After that run, third and eight for the offense. They're going to the hurry. They'll call on the services of C.J. Spiller. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. The Bills with a field goal trying to take the lead here in the fourth. Everybody's back out on the field now after that defensive timeout. The kicker now with a chance to decide this game. Puts it through the uprights. Needed plenty of leg on that one. Well, when you get points, it's never a bad thing. That is for sure. Good job by the field goal kicker that time. Nice job by the offense moving the football down the field. Bills ready to boot this one down the field. Taking no chances here with the squid kick. He's tackled right at the 43. There it is. The game has come to an end. It was a good one throughout. Hotly contested right down to the wire. I can only imagine how powerless the feeling must be when you've led the team down the field and now you turn it over to a kicker to decide the game. Well, you've been around that kicker all year long. You've watched him in practice. His locker is right next to you. Uh, so you have confidence that he can get it done in a big moment like this, and he did. tuned for the highlights and GMC never say never moment brought to you by EA Sports it's been a game we'll always remember Jim Nance Phil Sims so glad to bring it to you